do 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 Marshy Marsh. Guess what, guys? <laughs> I found this randomly when I was traveling about, right? I, I obviously dug up after I came down here, but there's actually a cave, like, right round here somewhere. Um, I was, like, adventuring. I was actually trying to find my... Yeah, here it is. My newbie girlfriend, a creeper. So I came into the nearest cave while I was kind of flying around, um, and I came down, and I kind of found this. Now, I found this before I actually started the quarry, so it was a little bit ago. But, um, yeah, and I, I just stumbled upon... You, you can see here I was using cobble torches at the time. Uh, <laughs> and I stumbled upon the end portal, and I thought, you know what? Everyone on the server wants to go here and farm some draconium. I'm going to put a book at my base so that everyone can just book over instead of having to come all the way over here. Um, and I'm considering maybe making a little base over here or something. Uh, I don't I don't quite know. Um, the place that I, if I just show you the map, the place that I really want to build my base, I have been looking. And as you can see, it's not really loaded in. It's basically just a massive cliff thing. Uh, and it, it, I thought it would be really cool for you some some uh, stone brick looking things only black and white brick and obviously I want to do some lime green brick as well just for an accent um, so yeah that's that's that and that's all coming soon because I think we're almost kind of <laughs> running out of space at our little spawn house so yeah in today's episode just in case you're wondering we will get started making that quantum suit I've almost finished it's actually two days later by the way um, since last episode that I filmed um, I've, I've been busy making up this stuff. I've also got quite addicted to Vitalia, so it's taking a bit longer. I have made the scanner, since that's fairly easy, but getting the other two bri uh, blocks sorry, is uh, quite challenging. I'll, I've actually made project tables and stuff over here, and oh boy, it's, um, it's, it's quite something. I didn't actually think it would be this hard to do it, but I, uh, once we have these machines, obviously we'll get going uh, we need to get tier 4 power online before we do anything really uh, like I explained I think I did anyway this chest was just my Britannia stuff sorry um, so if I just come down here and show you wait I've got the um I've got one of the blocks right here uh, where is it it is oh hang on I'll find it um, this one no this one scanner I've got the scanner so we can scan in the iridium uh, I, at the moment I'm trying to make the pattern chest um, as well uh, which yeah, this is all the things that I need now this is really cool block so what you do is you um let's say I have my redstone here and I want to make dust shift click done hey guys so um just a little quick update I was just making this uh, reinforced stone here now to get the CF sprayer which is what you need to spray on the scaffolding you basically just right hold right click on it you need to make the CF powder which takes this and then you go ahead and you throw it in here with some water on uh, this mode, the enrich, and then you get this stuff out. And then obviously you then have to drain cell in, no, hang on, drain cell from tank, and then you put this in here, and it will fill it, and that's it. Then you spray it on your frame. I haven't actually made the frames yet, but I'll show you later on after I've made the machine how that all works. So yeah, gonna just cut again, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got some of these iron ones now. Uh, it turns out that other way is not how you do it. Um, yeah, you, you don't use the wood ones. You actually do need to use these ones. Um, the old mine site slide, and then you just spray them with your sprayer. Okay, and then that should turn into reinforced stone. Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, I've actually okay. It's it's like a day or two later now, but hey, that doesn't matter. I'm here. And I've actually made up uh, a few things, actually. I made up these uh, lava generators because I was bored. Same with these heated redstone ones. And these solar panels. I got very bored, so I just decided to make them. I don't really have a use for them. I just made them. Um, don't ask. I don't know why. But the machines that we do need, this pattern storage, the uh, recycler. Recycler, sorry. Uh, yeah, recycler. That, that, okay, that's what we're saying now. Replicator. Uh, <clears throat> so the the things that we need essentially are made so uh, we have them all now and obviously re the recycler will get us our scrap for our scrap boxes which will then go inside our I think replicator oh no we are missing something the recycler we need that we, the block that makes you you matter is what we're missing I believe why did I place that down in my house 
Okay. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and head out here and we'll place these down and we'll take a look. This one here is the one that makes you you matter by the look of it. The replicator. Uh, so if we go ahead and place these. Oh, oh, okay. Getting a bit of lag here. Getting a bit of lag. Uh, so if we go ahead and place all this stuff down. So <clears throat> the recycler, essentially, oh, I placed it in the wrong place. Now, wow, we're getting some insane block lag here. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, mm, that's not going to work. We need the pattern storage next to this. Obviously. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the lag, guys. Um, so basically... Give it a second. There we go. So you you go ahead and you throw anything in here, and it will recycle into scrap. I'm going to use cobblestone or stone because we have so much of it down there. Uh, this machine here, the replicator, it takes in the UU matter and it replicates patterns. So for, it, it takes everything from this pattern chest here, uh, and then it will replicate it. And it, obviously, it takes time. It takes power, a lot of power, and that's how we're going to replicate our our. Uh, you, our Iridium basically so in here what we do is we go ahead and we place one of these um uh, what they call let me let me find one industrial craft two um, we go ahead in here we throw one of these empty memory crystal thingies in there we throw our iridium here it will scan it in put it into this cell and then we can go ahead and throw it in this pattern chest here from there this here we can then read from here obviously you go next pattern next pattern and stuff um, Come on, load. Load the machine. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, it can be upgraded. You can't actually put speed upgrades in here, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know if that's been changed. But, yeah, you can repeatedly make it. You can make it once, and you can stop it. Uh, and then you'll get your iridium out here. We are actually missing the machine that makes UU matter. Um, not that we need it. I mean, we have a world... Of UU matter, but I'm still going to make it. I, I'm I'm just not entirely sure. I'm I'm sure I'll find it when I see it. Uh, hang on, I can, don't worry, guys. I'm doing this. I can I can do this. Mass fabricator. That's the machine I haven't made yet. Uh, and I, you know what? We could just go ahead and craft this up right now. I think uh, if I have the Lapatron crystal. Wait, how do I make that? Oh yes. We should be able to craft this up right now. Um, so we need some of this here. We need some. Let's just go ahead and take out a stack of that, stack of that. Let's just take out some lead. We're gonna we're gonna need some more lead. I don't know why we need lead. You know what? We don't even need lead. Um, mass fabricator. Where? Ah, come on. Okay. Uh, advanced machine casing. Do we have any of that? Mm, no. No. No, we don't. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. You can see in my inventory I've got some stuff that I want to get done. Uh, I'll make that mass fabricator. All it does is it takes in items, well, the scrap. Basically, you give it power, it makes you you matter. If you give it scrap, it speeds it up, which is why we have this recycler. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up all these machines once they actually decide to pick up. And uh, we're actually going to have to upgrade all of our power to be able to do this. So um, <clears throat> this lag is really quite annoying, I must say. Um, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and throw all that in there. So, um, to upgrade our power, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a bunch of these semi-fluid generators. You can see they make 32 EU a tick. If I open up my calculator, 32... Oh, sorry, hang on. We need to get 8192 EU a tick. Divide that by 32. We need 256 of them if we're going to do that. That's, that's a bit much. I'm just going to go ahead and make... Uh, 512 EU per tick, so if we divide that by 32, 16 of them, that's what we need. And then we'll go ahead and throw the, uh, what's it called, uh, this stuff, the Cicero soil, and we'll make some biofuel from our farm, because we have a bunch of saplings, and we can also throw stuff in there. Uh, and I'll do that and get all that for next episode all done. Not here, though. It won't be here. It'll be over, over here at the place that I found for our base which you can't even see on this map because it hasn't actually... I haven't been there uh, for ages. It appears the map is uh, very corrupted, actually. Um, anyway, probably because of the lag that I'm getting right now. But yeah, so this stuff here, uh, I'll show you once the server is slightly less laggy uh, because it's too laggy for me to really 
get this done. But essentially, what I'm going to do is, uh, at the moment, what we have to do is we have to go and we have to fight Blaze until we get enough XP. And then we can enchant stuff. But uh, with this guy, uh, the auto enchanter, if I just, uh, where am I going to put this thing? Um, uh, you know what? Right there. So, and I've got two anvils just to place next to it. Alright, so now we have that. So, in here, basically, we, we put liquid XP in here. And we can set it to kind of suck from the bottom and stuff. I'll take this. Set it to suck from the bottom in this interface. We could say we're obviously going to have auto drink on. And uh, you can actually set chests so it takes items in, enchants them, and throws them out. We're not actually going to do that. So you can adjust what level you want to enchant to. You put your item in or your book in there, and it gives you it out straight away if you have XP, which obviously we're going to pump it in. We're going to have uh, well, liquid XP is this stuff, in case you're wondering. And uh, in case you're ever wondering what this XP drain is, uh, it's really cheap to make. When you stand on it, it just puts your XP into liquid XP, and it's just got a bunch of tanks down there. Um, so yeah, we, we're, we're going to basically pump liquid XP in here, be able to enchant to whatever level. Same with these anvils, uh, which the anvils are going to be more useful because obviously we want to use that um, Ender IO enchants thing. Sorry about the Skype noise there. So uh, we can auto extract books, uh, auto extract tools to you know fix them and put books on. And basically we can just anvil without taking any XP off ourselves. Okay, guys. So I will. Yeah. I'll explain this in a second. So, I've uh, started up another quarry, um, and we're getting a fair bit of stuff coming in right now. I've upgraded all these barrels uh, up a level, apart from this one, because, I mean, not really getting too much sand right now. Um, but, yeah, but if I was got a thousand cool ore, which is kind of insane, I'm actually going to have to upgrade this barrel again to obsidian, um, because... <laughs> We're going to hit the uh, limit on that. And I think these ones are all good. Okay, we're going to have to upgrade the the iron barrel there. And, yeah. We are getting lots of stuff. Also, I made deep slot. I decided to keep all of those creative kind of buildy blocks um, back here. You see, I've just made up a bunch of deep stores. So we've got the uh, basalt and the granite, the anasite marble now we've got two types of marble um they they both look completely different from each other really if we just take one of these out one of these out oh, oh. okay so that's that's this marble uh, but i prefer this marble it just it it looks nice i don't really like the completely white texture and stuff so we're going to be using the project red marble and uh, we can actually make stone bricks out of these if i just do uh where is it yeah, these these stone bricks. Oh, hang on, that's chisel. No, we don't want those chisel ones. There's other ones. Um, we want the actual ones, these ones. They look so nice. Uh, and I think we can make them glimmer as well. Hang on. Can we do that? Um, no, we can't do that anymore. We used to be able to uh, put those like, shiny ones. I'll have to look into that. And then this here is what we're going to use for the... Um, the black brick and then I've decided instead of using the lime ones we're only going to use lime strips uh, with the saw around our base just to outline some stuff and um, I think that would look nicer than doing the whole loads of stuff out of it um, now I have actually changed what I'm dumping I'm, I'm now I've got so much of this useless stuff now I don't need it rails which I've got quite a few of the appetite ore which is useless for me really um, and then down here, I'm getting rid of just wood and fence and cobwebs. I've got loads in them. Um, we do get some of this mossy cool stone, which is quite nice. Now, if you're, if you're wondering what this is for, I'm going to go ahead. I was making some tesseracts. If I just... Oh, no, don't do that. I've got three of them. I think I was going to make one more. But anyway, um, they are so that I can go ahead and pump... A few, I'm going to do two drums of UU matter from the UU matter age I have. I've also had to move our lava pump. I'm not going to show you it because, I mean, it, you know, it's just a pump. It's just been moved to a place where there's more lava. Um, so, yeah. If we head over here, we can see this. Now, this auto enchant table is bugged out. 
even when I put tables around it, it still says max level 8. It said max level 0 for ages as well, so I honestly don't know what's wrong with it. But normally you can just put your thing in, as long as it's got books around it, you can adjust the level and automatically enchant. Also, it's not automatically drinking either. There we go. Uh, I've put tanks under each of them so they each have like a buffer. And now the auto anvil, you just put two things in, it repairs it without using any of your XP. Um, so now if we head down here, I apologise for the lag, uh, it's terrible. Uh, it's actually the next day, um, I think this is just client side lag, but yeah. So we've got a bunch of these berry bushes, you can see I've kind of put it up here so we can walk around without hurting ourselves. Got this here, we're going to have to pump out the sludge I think. Um, I'll probably just get a void pipe or something, because we have a few barrels of it. We're going to have to make a sludge boiler at some point, so if I just hold this, you can see the pipe just goes around. Uh, and then it's a round robin mode coming out of here. So it basically puts one into here, and then the next one into here, and then one into there, and one into here. And then the thing for this one's just at the back behind it, you can't really see. Uh, and now this, this barrel actually has something called the, um, it's like an ender upgrade. You use a tuning fork and you shift click on this, and then if I come up here, I, then you shift click on this with the shooting fork and then it links them together with this upgrade. The upgrade does take three slots I believe but it's worth it, it's pretty awesome. So now this barrel, if you take it out here, it's also taken out of this barrel down here. Which uh, I thought was pretty cool. And then obviously we have just got drums of liquid XP just for a massive buffer. And obviously the lever to turn this on and off. Just got a vacuum hopper there to suck it up. But yeah, that's, that's how that's all working. Um, Pretty, pretty cool, getting lots of XP. Now we don't have to worry about getting XP. We, if we need berries to enchant, we can just use them. And then over here we have a disenchanter. You can see the bookshelves. Uh, we can just put in any item. It won't do damage to the item, and we can get the enchants off. As you can see here, we've got a load of enchants here. We've got everything. These are actually chests, by the way. There's a chest beneath them. Um, just, yeah, I thought that was cool. Anyway. Uh, there's also these paths everywhere that she has placed down amongst all of our kind of areas here, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, oh, Botania stuff. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I'm not doing Botania on camera, but um, I just I prefer because you know, I don't know the mod and newbie girl there, right? She wanted to do it, so yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Also, I just edited one of my videos. I know you guys are gonna be like, what? Do you mean you recorded like four ahead? Yeah, I have. Um, <laughs> so I was just editing episode eight, um, <laughs> and uh, I realised we hadn't actually done the shoe cave farm. So we may we may just end up doing that. Actually, uh, just get a barrel barrel done. I don't know if I showed this, but I did make a squid farm. Um, it's basically just a heart. I think that's a rancher. It just ranches in, puts it into there. Pretty simple stuff. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, there's some quotes from the Yorks cast in case you're wondering. So yeah, oh, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I upgraded these barrels too, and, and the ones other. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, I have a wizard hat. <laughs> that's not how you end your recording. That is not either. <laughs> <laughs>